I find his lack of balance disturbing. It's all that data, bro. With SLT Mega Deals, he's got double data for the next two months. The Real Battle President says the current political crisis is a battle against Western intervention. Says any decision by the court will be respected. A fight for democracy. UMP to hold a mass protest calling it the biggest the country has ever seen. Gearing up. UPFA parliamentarian Vasudeva says that the party is prepared to any eventuality post the court verdict. What if the judgment is in our favour? If the judgment is not in our favour, then how do we alternatively proceed? Peace must dawn. Archbishop Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit expects disputes in the country be eliminated soon. Beauty and glamour. Mexico's Vanessa de Leon crowned Miss World 2018. Miss World 2018 is Mexico. Bike ka gatot phone nika. Oh, tora gat Yamaha bike madil sandha rupee alhatalis dahak takwa watina smartphone nika no mile. Ik mankaran November tiha takwa pamanai konde si saitai. Amatan bindu ay kai kai hatai. Hi si namia, hi si namia. AMW tim pamanai. A very good evening and welcome to First at Now in Naladarana 24-7 Sri Lanka's news channel. I'm Katharina Chang. Now on to our top story tonight. President Maitripala Sivisena says that any ruling delivered by the Supreme Court will be adhered to and that the future political decisions of the country will be carried out accordingly. The President made this statement at an event held in Polonnaruwa today. Make a Samara, Vikragran, Desapan, Pakshatra, even a Prasna Pidia. Make a Samara, Dakine, Mamasa, Ranil Vikron Singh Mahatata, Pavatina, Gatumak Pidia. Ne, Mayor Sodeshigawa de Saha, Vijat Inge, Vides Darsana take a Gatina, Gatumaka, Ektara Vastava. Other Siala Adikarne, the Savalagan City Noa, Adikarne, Tindu Labinagam. At the Agamati Rex, Amati Mandalia, Tibunat, Eva Kriakari, Nautila Tibino. Rati Tani Pujale Kidiata Janadi Putivariata Palane Yuastan Kula May Vanavita Labadi Latibino Mama Ya Kisi Sait Masatu to in a Karnaya Novi Rajatandrava de Shakti Matkali to Rataka Tani Pujale Kwe Palanaya Ratata Kisi Sait Mawashawane Neh Mawisas Karana Api Adikarane Me Tatwea Teru Maragina Ratatula Prajatrava de Shakti Matkaran Ati Artika Sangwar Dane Akanda Vidri Atean Adikarane Naduti in the Tirana Ikmata Labadi Kielama Visas Karano Adikarane Tindu Munakar in Dunat E Unam Tinduak Mama Gauru in Bargano E Tindu Anu Gati to Dudeshapan Kriamargano you know, former President Mahindra Rajapaksha says that the public will not be able to obtain relief which was planned to be available during the holiday season. The former president expressed these views to media in Kandy today. Former President Mahindra Rajapaksha engaged in religious observances at the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic in Kandy this morning. <laughs> I can get Meanwhile, UPF MPs convened at the Sri Lanka Purujana Perumun office this morning to discuss preparations for elections. Kanidhas Pakshia, Itihase Tula, Putwala Kun at the Tarangala, Yanadi Bativarna, Parliament to Mativarna, One Mativarna, Bulat Kole at the Tarangala, again the Eka Sandana Gatim Pilimanda, Sri Lanka the Spakshe, Mangitana Prashak Pekila. Yanata Vatra Vedima Kamatatina Akarsanium Lanchinak 
අරගෙන යන්න පුළුවන් නම් ඒක සාර්ථකයි. ඒක අපිට ලාංඡනයට වඩා වැදගත් වෙන්නේ අපේ වැඩ පිළිවෙල. Meanwhile, top brass of the Sri Lanka Apodu Jana Perumun and senior parliamentarians held a special discussion at the official residence of the former president in Vijayarama last evening. The meeting was presided over by former president Mahindra Rajapaksha, MPs Nimal Siripal De Silva and Dasri Jaisekar representing the Sri Lanka Freedom Party too were seen participating at the special discussion. We discussed matters pertaining to the present political situation. We discussed about the possible scenarios when the judgment will be given about the matter of the dissolution of the parliament how likely it is to be sooner than later and what it is likely to be what if the judgment is in our favor then how do we proceed from there if the judgment is not in our favor then how do we alternatively proceed then we discussed about the 12th on which date they are supposed to have a meeting of the UNP and other allies of the UNP inside the parliament calling it the parliament and in order to adopt a resolution that Ranil Wickremesinghe should be the person to be appointed the prime minister president's position today is based on certain charges that have been leveled against Ranil Wickremesinghe therefore the question of reconsidering his name is more unlikely to happen than happen UPF MP Chandamavira Kodi alleges that the United National Party and Tamil National Alliance are working hand in hand behind closed doors the Gold district parliamentarian made this remark addressing a media briefing in Gold today ඇදිලිවම එක්සත් ජාතික පක්ෂයේ පොදු ජනතාවගේ පැත්තේ ඉන්නවා නම් මේ මොහොතේ පොදු ජනතාවට ඡන්ද අයිතිය ලබා දීම සඳහා ඉදිරිපත් වෙන්න ඕන එයාට ඉතිහාසයක් තියෙනවා ඡන්ද අයිතිය පැහැරගෙන අවුරුදු හයක් ජයා ජයවදන තමන්ගේ රජය දික් කරගත්තා. ඉන් අනතුරුව පහුගිය කාලෙත් මැතිවර්ණ තියන්න ඉඩ නොදී විවිධ සංශෝධන ගැන කතා කරමින් කල්මැරුවා. අද වෙනකොට මේ රටේ පළාත් සභා නමෙන් හයක් අකර්මණ්‍ය. ඔය කියන අන්තර්ජාතික සංවිධාන ඒ පිළිබඳව ප්‍රශ්න කළෙත් නැහැ. අවුරුදු ගානක් අද ප්‍රශ්න කරන්නෙත් නැහැ. ජනතාවගේ පැත්තේ නෙමෙයි UNP ඉන්නේ. අද සුමන්දිරන් නැතුළු කණ්ඩායම මුළු ටියන් එකම නෙමෙයි. සුමන්දිරන් නැතුළු LTT හිතවාදී කණ්ඩායම රනිල් වික්‍රමසිංහ මහත්තයත් එක්ක පෙළට හිට ගන්නවා. අපි අභියෝග කරලා කියනවා එකට ඇවිල්ලා UNP ID TN එකයි දෙක එකට වාඩි වෙලා පුළුවන් නම් කියන්න අපි ඇමතිකම් ගන්නවා UNP ආණ්ඩුවේ අපි තිරය පිටුපස නෙමෙයි ජනතාව ඉදිරියේ එකට ඉන්නවයි කියන එක පුළුවන් නම් කියන්න එක්සත් ජාතික පක්ෂයේ ඉතුරු වෙලා තියෙන ජනපදනමත් විනාශ වෙන්නේ දැයි කියන එක. Meanwhile a protest march was held in Mehintale in Anuradhapura demanding general elections. UPF parliamentarian SM Chandrasena and several others participated in the march. Another protest was held at Akkaravatta area in Anuradhapura led by UPF MP Shahan Sema Singha. Meanwhile a public rally by Sri Lanka Podujana Perumuna was held in Biagama organized by UPF MP Prasanna Ranatunga. Meanwhile the collection of signatures for a petition to demand a general election took place at Nevithigala today. <laughs> Former Defence Secretary Gotabaya Rajapaksha claims that the present political issue in the country was created as an outcome of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution. Speaking to media following an event in Colombo today, the former Defence Secretary added that any new government should give utmost priority to national security. मामा ही तो नहीं दिया था नतीवर ने एक तमाई जनता और टमिया में अच्छा आवश्यक नहीं जनादिपति वर ने एक संबंध वाव आवश्यकता व्याक में वाला भी देवी लने नहीं नोट आधा प्रश्न थी इन्हें पाल में तो नहीं आरक्षा पिली बंद अवबोधन 
දුන්නට ඕන පී යුද්ධය අවසන් වුණාට පස්සේ ඒ පිළිබඳව අවබෝධයෙන් යුතුව ක්‍රියා කරපු නිසා තමයි යුද්ධය අවසන් වුණා පස්සේ කිසිම ප්‍රශ්නයක් ඇති නොනේ. ඉතින් මම දන්නවා පසුගිය වසර 4ට පමණ කාලය තුල රටේ ආරක්ෂාව පිළිබඳව නිසි අවබෝධයකින් වැඩ කටයුතු කරේ නැහැ රජය. ඒ නිසා ඕනෑම රජයක් රටේ ආරක්ෂාව පිළිබඳව මූලිකවම වැඩ කටයුතු කරන්නට ඕනේ. UMP parliamentarian Ajit P. Pereira says that the biggest protest for democracy ever staged in Sri Lanka will be organized at the Golf Face Green on the 13th of this month. He made this revelation speaking at a public rally in Kalutara today. Meanwhile, several other UMP parliamentarians aired their thoughts on the current political situation of the country. ये दिन मैत्रीपाल सिरसे जनाधिपत्मा प्रकाश मैत्रीपाल सिरसे जनाधिपत्मा पिगण बहुत अगमति के पत्कल महेंद्र राजपक्ष अगमति पशु बहुत कटयुतल मिरटे प्रजातंत्रवाद स्थापने अभी दुलास्वेद अग्रमाणिल विक्रम सिंह महता के पार्लिमेंट भी उपरीम विश्वास अति बवट योजना वाक सम्मत कर गए नहीं मत आपेक्षा करें मिमो योजना वाटे एकसीय दहातुनों का टवड़ा वैडी मंत्री ने सांकेतों के सहयोगी लबागे नहीं में संधा आप इटे निश्चकले समय है कि आवती बिनो जनता विमुक्ति परमुने में कारण ये दी आप इटे सहायला बाद दिन है उन प्रजातंत्र वादे इटे फाक्षब आपकरने काटे � प्रजातंत्र वादे वेनुएं मेरे टे तिबुनु विशालतम महाजन उद्गोषने सिद्ध करने बाबर आप एक क्या न कहें मते पसुगिया सिकुरा दा कताना एक तुम्हाटा पालिमेंटु ए पाले का मरुंटा बार दुन्ना पालिमेंटु योजना वक इमागिंग आपे बालापुरुत्तु एनोआ प्रधान राजनिर्दारीन की पदने कुटे रही हुआ पार्लिमेंटु ए पराप्रसाद कमिटी वटा मूल्य कमिटी वटा पब्लिक अकाउंट कमिटी वटा ए आई गिनाला प्रश्न के लिए मटे नीति विरोधी आक्रामात्य वर्या के लेकम वर्या है टीट क्रिया कर पु अमेज़े कर महत्या नीति विरोधी मुदला महत्या इन्शे लेकम वर्या है टीट काटी टुकर पु आर्टिकल महत्या बर्नार्ड वासंत पैर आदर्श मैत्रीपाल A team of CID officers has left for Hong Kong to recover voice recordings deleted from the mobile phone of Nama Kumaras from Anti-Corruption Front. The team had left for Hong Kong last night along with the mobile phone of Dharma Kumara for further investigations as per permission granted by the Fourth Magistrate Court. The team includes two officers from the Criminal Investigation Department and one official from the Government's Analyst Department. Direct operations of the Anti-Corruption Front, Nama Kumara, in September uh, revealed before media information of a conspiracy to assassinate President Maitripala Sirisena and former Defence Secretary Gotabe Rajapaksha. He claimed before media that he had mobile phone conversations with former DIG of the Terrorist Investigations Department, Nalakiri Silva, on plans pertaining to the plot. The CID subsequently commenced investigations into said conspiracy and has recorded statements from both Nama Kumara and the former DRG on multiple occasions. The CID informed court earlier that out of the 124 voice samples, 123 of them match the voice of former DRG Nal Kri Silva as well as Nama Kumara's. It was also noted that the certain clips had been also deleted from the phone. Meanwhile, Senior Superintendent of Police W.S.E. Jai Sundara has been appointed as the new Director of the Terrorism Investigation Department. He's also appointed the Director of the Ministry Coordination Division. 
Secretary of the National Police Commission, Samandi Sanayaka, has said approval was granted for the appointment made by IGP Pooja Jayasundara with immediate effect. SSP Jayasundara has been appointed to fill the vacancy after the arrest of former Director of TID, Deputy Inspector General Nalaka De Silva, over the plot to assassinate President Maitripala Sirisena and former Defence Secretary Gautabiraj Paksha. WSE Jayasundara has previously served as the officer in charge of the Jaffna Police Division. Thereby, SSP UPADKP Karuna Naika has been appointed to the vacant post in Jaffna. Preliminary investigations have revealed that the driver responsible for the two motor accidents that killed three persons and injured seven others had been under the influence of alcohol. Now, at 12.10 a.m. today, a car had collided with another car, travelling the opposite direction near a fuel station in Ratmalana. Two motorcycles, too, were involved in the accident. The driver of the car and a motorcyclist were killed in the accident, while four others were admitted to the Kalubovila Hospital for treatment. The deceased was an 18-year-old youth from Manradapura, a 21-year-old youth from Dehivala and a 54-year-old man. Reportedly, the driver of the car which caused both accidents had been driving under the influence of liquor. He is receiving treatment in, at, for injuries at the Kalbuvula Hospital under police custody. Now, further investigations are being carried out by Mount Lavinia Police. Let's now take a look at some other stories making news across Sri Lanka. Two suspects were arrested for possession of eight firearms and 800 live bullets at Patakare in Beiruala. According to police, one of the weapons was suspected to have been used for VIP protection. Police are conducting further investigations to ascertain how the suspects came in possession of the stock of arms. A woman was arrested by Nara Mala police for physically abusing her two-year-old daughter. The suspect's neighbours had provided video footage of the incident to the police. The mother of the child was later produced before the Kuliapitiya acting magistrate, following which she was remanded till the 12th of this month. Two vehicles met with an accident at the Kotava Highway entrance. CCTV footage of the incident was obtained in close proximity to the area. Sri Lanka's award-winning news channel, Other Verena 24-7. Welcome back to the news. Archbishop of Colombo, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit is hopeful that disputes in the country over various reasons will be eliminated soon. He also expressed sentiment that peace will dawn in the country during this Christmas season. The Archbishop said this responding to questions by journalists during an event held at the Embassy of Palestine in Colombo. <laughs> Pasniaking, Manushan was a Hundra Kalpanakala Balala, Eva Midenet, Ramasa Vidi Huagan to Pulwanka Matino. Eating Api me, Anavasha Prasna, Tigaragana, Ekineka, Samoga Kulalka, and Nimatavada, Api Adiat Mikapatin, Kalpanakala, Katutukaran, Doni, Hamadekadi, Yabi Balapurteno, him Adiat Mika Katutu, Araha, Men Atal Kali, Api Balapurtena, Samesa, Saji, Vene, Katatuleti. With less than a month for Christmas, the city of Colombo is slowly but surely preparing for the festive season. Christmas carols and lighting of the Christmas tree are one of the few traditions which are followed during the season. Shangri-La Hotel Colombo welcomed the festive cheer with the lighting of their Christmas tree. The ceremony was presided by former Sri Lanka cricket captain Kumar Sangakara. The Kingsbury Hotel in Colombo too welcomed the holiday season with the lighting of their Christmas tree. The special ceremony was held earlier this week. 
A tradition that coincides with Christmas celebrations are Christmas carols. A group of students from Sri Lanka Institute of Information Technology organized a Christmas carol to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ, followed by a play. Religious leaders from different faiths too were present at the occasion. And they say that the participants in the bond market will be on a wait-and-see approach mode over the course of the new week, given the political deadlock. During the trading week uh, concluded, the ASPI gained 0.8%, while the SAPSL 20 increased by 0.5%. We now have Archidan Srirangan from First Capital Holdings with the forecast. In the bond market, most of the market participants are like to be on the wait and see mode while some buying expect from the local counterparties to push down the yield curve on a short to mid term. On equity market experience a mic reaction due to the Supreme Court hearing a challenging resolution of Parliament, a strong bullish sentiments have developed among the market participants, which is likely to result in a continued uptrend in the bench market, but much slower pace. Buying interest from the local high net worth and the retails are slowly to active in the market next week. Moving on to some international business news, Facebook will buy back an additional $9 billion of uh, its shares it looks to pacify investors following a slump in its stock. The social media giant shares which have tumbled more than 22% uh, this year rose nearly 1% in extended trading. The new program is in addition to a share a buyback plan of up to $15 billion US dollars announced by the company last year. Facebook is being investigated by lawmakers in Britain after consultant firm Cambridge Analytica, which worked on Donald Trump's US president campaign, obtained personal data of 87 million Facebook users from a researcher. Concerns over the social media giant's practices, the role of political adverts and possible foreign interference in the 2016 Brexit vote and US elections are among the topics being investigated by British and European regulators. On to some international news now, French Prime Minister Edouard Philippe has vowed to restore national unity after violence broke out during a fourth consecutive weekend of protests. Police used tear gas and rubber bullets yesterday, the latest day of Yellow West demonstrations against a fuel tax rises and high living costs. French Interior Minister Christophe Castaner said 135 people were wounded in yesterday's protest across France. According to a spokesman for the Interior Ministry, 1,723 people were taken in for questioning and 1,220 were taken into custody. French Prime Minister Edouard Philippe asserted that discussions with peaceful protesters must continue. Philippe further added, quote, No tax should jeopardize our national unity. We must now rebuild that national unity through dialogue, through work and by coming together, unquote. The government this week cancelled a planned rise in taxes on petrol and diesel in a bid to defuse the situation. But the protests have morphed into a broader anti-Macron rebellion. Now, China warned Canada today that there would be severe consequences if it did not immediately release Huawei Technologies' chief financial officer, calling the case extremely nasty. Meng Wanzhou, Huawei's global chief financial officer, was arrested in Canada on the 1st of December and faces extradition to the United States, which alleges that she covered up her company's links to a firm that tried to sell equipment to Iran despite sanctions. The executive is a daughter of the founder of Huawei. If extradited to the United States, Meng would face charges of conspiracy to defraud multiple financial institutions. A Canadian court heard on Friday with a maximum sentence of 30 years of each charge. No decision was reached at the extradition hearing. After nearly six hours of arguments and counter-arguments, the hearing was adjourned until Monday. In a short statement, China's foreign ministry said that Vice Foreign Minister Li Yu Cheng has issued the warning to release Meng to Canada's ambassador in Beijing, summoning him to lodge a strong protest. And with that, we cross over to a short commercial break. Stay tuned.
watching Sri Lanka's premier news channel, Avadharana 24-7. In Cricket News India and the day four of the opening test against Australia on a high note as they picked up four wickets to dent Aussie's hope of chasing the 300 plus run target. Resuming today's play, India posted 307 runs in their second innings, handing Australia a target of 323 runs. Resuming their innings on 150 for three, India extended their total to 307 with brilliant knocks by Chiteshwar Pujara and Ajinkya Rahane. Rishabh Pant also pitched in with a quick fire 28 runs. Over and that's Cut! There you go, there you go. Well played again. And he goes big, he connects with this. With another launch over to the next side. This is huge. Three. Australia were off to a steady start, but Ravi Chandran Ashwin and Mohammad Shami picked up two apiece to send the Aussie top order packing. That's good from Finch. Takes a big step to. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Harris edge of... over yes. the top, straight up in the air. Will it fill in the gap? Australia reached 104 for four at stumps on day four with Sean Marsh and Travis Head at the crease. God. Oh, he's got all of it this time. Now, glamour and beauty took the center stage at the 68th Miss World pageant in China last night. Mexico's Vanessa Ponce uh, Dillon won the most coveted beauty title of the year, becoming the first ever Mexican to do so. Miss World 2017 Manushi Chilar from India passed on the crown to the new title winner after she emerged victorious among 118 other hopefuls from around the world. And the Miss World 2018 beauty pageant held in Sanya, China, brought together participants from over 100 countries across the world, fine for the crown. And we begin with Asia and Sri Lanka and India. Contestants from Thailand, Mexico, Belarus, Jamaica and Uganda emerged into the final round. They faced a question and answer session during which Miss Mexico in particular won the hearts of the judges and the audience, sealing her fate on the big evening. When I became Miss World, I was able to use my position to help many people. How would you use your influence as Miss World to help others? Being an example, we all can be an example of good in the world. We all have to care. We all have to love. We all have to be kind. It don't cost a thing and helping is not that hard. You just really need the will to make a change. Just need, you just need to go there and there's always someone that will need what you have to offer. So help anyone you can guys. Thank you. Miss Silent Nicolene Lim Snukhan was awarded the first runner-up. And the winner of Miss World 2018 is Mexico. Miss Mexico, a 26-year-old model who rose to fame in 2014 when she won reality competition TV show Mexico's Next Top Model, won the coveted title. Well, ladies and gentlemen, she was crowned by the former Miss World, India's Manushi Chiller. And recognize Vanessa de Leon from Mexico, who is Miss World 2018. Vanessa Ponce de Leon completed her degree in international business and is currently on the board of directors of a rehab center for girls and volunteers for migrants in El Camino. She is a speaker for the National Youth Institute as well as working as a model and a presenter.
And with that, we conclude this edition of First at Nine. Thank you for joining us and have a pleasant evening.